This is an unboxing of a Pioneer Viewer. Let's open and see. Okay, I have now cut the top. And this is something I received from Germany. It's a second hand Pioneer Viewer. It's a butter Max Bright Pioneer Viewer. As you can see. And there's nothing inside this other than the newspaper. Put the newspaper back. This is the binder viewer. I will disinfect it probably before touching it more. Okay, now I have uh, disinfected it with the alcohol spray. Now I'm going to open the binder viewer. There is a documentation here. Uh, it's in German. I hope there is an English translation also somewhere. No, it's all in German. But there's a Max Sprite. You can read that. That's in English. Uh, two eyepieces should have been here, but he's missing. So the seller didn't send me those. The, it was not part of the sale. This is the Binary Viewer. I must say the condition of it is rotting almost. I have to disinfect that and the binder viewer itself first. Okay, this is the binder viewer, as you can see. Let me turn on the flash so I can look at it. Uh, this is the binder viewer. The end bit of it is the two inch one, but I suppose that I can uh, use a adapter. I have adapter for this and I will use that one. I hope it works with this. Of course, the Max Bright 2, which is uh, supposed to be in the market, is not available, so you don't see it. You you pay for it, but Bader doesn't have it available because of the coronavirus, probably. So let me see how it looks like. I'm removing the caps. So, do I see any fault? Not really. I don't see anything. The problem? No fungi. Doesn't look that this has been fallen or anything. I don't see any damage. This is a relatively lightweight, but the lenses, as you can see, the prisms are big. And hopefully that means that I will get a good bright view with this. Uh, I have a Bertella eyepiece, Russian modified Bertella eyepiece. I just see that, can it go there? I have two of that. I have one of it now here. Obviously it can go. Okay, this is a binary viewer and this is a Bertella eyepiece. No, it's too big for this. It cannot go into this. But I have other eyepieces. I just wanted to see if it can go. It only goes with my uh, Skywatcher S, uh, ST80. Not a big loss. Uh, I have an adapter for that. can go with this. But so far, looks all right to me. Needs a little bit cleaning probably down there, but uh, that's another matter. Has it been the screws tampered with? I don't see any evidence of tampering with the screws. That's what I can see. So, no, I don't see any, any evidence of tampering with the screws. Uh, the test will be in the night sky that I can actually look at it and uh, just view something with it. And I will do it in the first opportunity. Okay, I'm using the Butter Max Wright uh, Binder Viewer. No Barlow or anything. I put the Barlow, but that was too much. Uh, and I removed even the um, diagonal. That was another Butter uh, Star Diagonal Mirror one. And yeah, no, that is good. I can see without uh, any problem. It just goes into there and there is enough travel. It's inward travel is needed, not outward. And I'm using the Svivoni Aspheric 23 millimeter, a pair of it. And it's good. The only thing is that it's, it's this one is a bit loose. So if I push it like that, the images will merge and you can see 3D. But uh, I have to look at that in the daylight just to see why this one is a bit loose the other one is all right and uh, yeah see a retaining ring there probably that's the one that's a problem but anyway 
it may not be even a problem, but it's amazing. Nothing compares to having a, <laughs> a both eyes. The cyclope way, that is one eye, is, is not really built for the human beings. We are the people who live in three-dimensional view. We have two eyes and we have to use them and the images by two eyes merge. Beautiful. Oh, hallelujah. There is a screw here, which was loose. And with this uh, screwdriver, I tightened it just half a turn and it was tight. So that's a retaining ring and now it is firm, doesn't wobble. And hopefully that means I will be able to actually view it in 3D easier without holding one eyepiece with hand. Let's just do it. Imagine that in 3D. Of course the camera cannot show both eyepieces, so impossible to see or we'll show you in 3D like that. But anyway, this is a cyclop view of it for you. Oh, hallelujah, that's it, done. 3D easy. <laughs> I repaired it in the dark. <laughs> that's the ultimate amateur astronaut. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Now using the 10 millimeter spheric SV Bonnie. And that's amazing. First I used the 10 millimeter and 4 millimeter. They are the same size. In the dark I couldn't recognize why this one. <laughs> doesn't come with the same focus as this. Then I realized because they are the same size, uh, the l length of them, uh, I'll, I'll pick the wrong one. So I had to go back and bring the 10 millimeter one. So I have a lot of these pairs and uh, of this eyepiece and other eyepieces. I will try orthoscopic probably later in other nights. And that is amazing. I'm looking at the planet Saturn. It's floating in the sky. Wow. It's so relaxed. Ten millimeter aspheric. That's the SV on your eyepiece. A pair of them on the bottom max right. Looking at the full moon almost. Last night we had a lunar eclipse, so it's just past full moon. Not many objects, uh, not many shadows, I should say, on the moon, but it's just stunning the view of whatever visible at the limb and also in the other parts. So relaxed. No more cyclop or cyclop. Wow, I'm in the orbit of the moon with this binary view. It just looking at it. straight through, you know, I'm doing Japanese style without a star diagonal and that's amazing. So relaxed, first of all, so relaxed. Second is that I'm in the orbit around the moon. <laughs> I can concentrate on any area for detailed viewing. It's amazing.